The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not in any way reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. Uh, <laughs> this weekend is just nuts. Sa uh, totoo I have a lot of things to consider and uh, one of it is very personal but I don't want to leave you guys uh, in the dark with what seems to be my thoughts on on things that just happened. So, uh, aliga kapitayo. Hi guys, I'm Ian Drinyon, an independent media practitioner, freelance writer, and content creator. And welcome to another Salty Reactions, where commentaries need an extra dose of salt. Dalawa lang naman ang kailangan kong anahin dito, kasi, uh, <laughs> and th these are just two quick uh, things that I have to uh, comment about, because a lot of people are having a say about it, from pundits to punters. So, might as well just, uh make this quick. First off, yung sinasabi nilang national standards on uh, adobo. To be honest, wala pa ako naririnig na ganun eh. Sa mga dishes, sa mga putahe. Naririnig ko lang yung purity law ng uh, purity law in the Middle Ages by Germans uh, wherein they basically uh, regulated what seems to be the recipe for beer at bilang isang manginginom, I can accept that. Pero yung, ad, yung magkaroon ng national standards or purity laws when it comes to adob, adobo, sinigang, sisig, and all other Filipino dishes, I don't even think it's, ano, it's something that we should be ano, debating about either in Congress or in the public forum. Kasi... To each, is, to each his own, yung tastes nila. Siguro, ang pwede kong i-example dito ay yung, ano, yung pizza ng ano, Southern Italy, specifically Neapolitan pizza, pizza from Naples. Kasi, although, ano, although talagang, ano, minsan, ano, nagka-cringe sila. They're, they're f***ing cringing on the b***. The Neapolitans and other Southern Italians are f***ing cringing on the on the way people are doing their pizzas. In the first place, ang pizza nila ay sobrang, ano, sobrang iba no Middle Ages no sa pizza natin ngayon. Well, I can't blame the Neapolitans and generally all Italians for, uh, for safeguarding this uh, tradition of, uh, making pizza they're not as ano they're not as uh, rigid or sabihin na natin uh, condescending to the point na gagawa sila ng national standards while there is an or an Italian organization about pizza and I have to consult my girlfriend about this as an Italophile hindi siya ano eh hindi siya considered na ano eh uh, parang push for national standards eh kumbaga sige ano uh, make ano make recipes ano make recipes about pizza but per favore please no pineapples on pizza capish that's just ano that's just my take on it uh, i think i really think Instead of making national standards on Filipino dishes, why not make national standards on Filipino beverages? And in particular, tuba, basi, rice wine yun na. Tuba is um, coconut wine 
Basi is rice wine and Lambanog is coconut spirit. Basically, distilled tuba. So, why not make that? Why not uh, push for that national standard for uh, <laughs> for Filipino drinks instead of Filipino dishes? Kasi, siguro naman yung mga manginginom, wala silang, wala, wala silang problema kung ano eh. Kung ang adobo ba nila, o yung sisig nila, o yung Bicol Express nila, o kung ano man ang pulutan nila ay pasok sa national standards, they, they're gonna, they're gonna freaking eat it. Dahil yun yung nasa, ano eh, dahil yun yung nasa lamesa eh. Yun yung pulutan eh, they would, they would just eat it. But, it doesn't have to have a national standard, pero, dapat may national standard ang mga Filipino drinks kasi, Napabalita naman natin a uh, few years ago na nagkaroon ng uh, food poisoning dahil sa dis- sa mga distilled na lambanog. Yung mga lambanog na sobrang taas ng alcohol content na kapag ininom mo yun mamamatay ka, mamamatay ka, literal. So I think uh, the Department of Trade and Industry should uh, reconsider what should they uh, push for national standards. Not it's not about the dishes because everyone has the uh, everyone has a different taste in it. Okay, as I said, the Italians may cringe about pizza, but they can't. Uh, but they can't. Uh, parang the cat is out of the bag. Wala na sila magagawa dun. and they just accept. Uh, they just accept that uh, pizza has been diversified, but uh, as much as possible, they will cling on to the old standards. So, yun yung ano, yun yung uh, point about pizza. But, as for drinks, please, uh, please, uh, guys, consider the purity laws of Germany when it comes to beer. Why not adapt that for the Filipino setting and uh, uh, make national standards for our Filipino drinks? Para, una sa lahat, hindi sila mamatay ma- para uh, habang iniinom na yun. At pangalawa, para mas standardized din yung lasa. Siguro, ano, a little bit of flavoring and all that, pero maayos yung lasa. Eh, talagang distinct yung lasa ng mga inumin natin. So, that's that's just me, okay? That's just how I see it. So, I guess, uh, you're aware now why am I a bit uh, speculative about this, ano, about the national standards for Filipino dishes. Now, let's hop across the big blue and relive history. To be honest, medyo late na nga ako natulog at nagising dahil pinanood ko to kagabi. Today is the 12th of July, 2021. Yesterday, the 11th of July, and yes, this happened on mid in midnight by midnight uh bago maghating gabi virgin galactic just flew four people to the edge of space now there's a lot of dispute kung hangga kung ano ba talaga ang boundary ng atmos ng uh thick atmosphere at outer space or sabihin natin the beginning of space and it revolves around a certain scientist named Theodore von, Car- von Karman. I'm not sure about the name, but the guy behind the Karman line basically uh, calculated that around 80 kilometers is the boundary between uh, a- the atmosphere and uh, space proper. So, kung pagbabasihan natin ang 1987 Constitution, Philippine Philippine territory is from the innermost core of the earth to the Karman line. Everything beyond it is outer space and because of treaties uh, back in the Cold War, nobody can uh, claim space as its own. Um, whether whether it's, a, whether it's a country or a company. So that's just uh, something that I'm very much, uh, very much speculative about as well. But anyway, nakakatuwa lang din na may mga tao talaga na talagang they're trying their, uh, they're, they're pushing the envelope actually to make sure that everyone experiences what 
a few people have just uh, experienced through privilege and training. So, uh, Sir Richard Branson, the boss of the Virgin Group, has decided to fly on the Virgin uh, Virgin Galactic uh, Spaceship 2 uh, named VSS Unity. I'm not sure how how high uh, these, um, I mean, how high Unity went, pero based on uh, based on some uh, space flight pundits, it's apogee or yung pinakamataas na ano, pinakamataas na point nila sa flight na yun ay 82 kilometers. 82 kilometers. So, if we're basing on the American uh, standards, 80 kilometers is the edge of space. So, basically, Sir Richard Branson and the, and four other, uh, and uh, five other guys are now considered astronauts. But, Blue Origin is contesting that. Kasi ang ano nila, ang habol nila, yung international standard na 100 kilometers. Ang Karman line ay nasa 100 kilometers. And based on previous flights, Blue Origin is flying over 100 kilometers in its apogee. So basically, kung international standards sa pag-uusapan, yung Blue Origin lang ang nakat- nakatungtong talaga sa, uh, sa space, sa kalawakan. Hindi yung, ano, hindi yung version Galactic, yung um, Spaceship 2. So basically, uh, it, when it comes to international standards, the Unity just can't go to space. Kasi eight, parang hanggang 80 kilometers lang sila eh. E ang Karman line, 100 kilometers. Yun yung batayan ng Blue Origin. And uh, yun din ang batayan ng maraming, ano, ng maraming uh, uh, organizations. Uh, internationally so there's this conflict there is this absolute conflict so in summary in American standards it's 80 kilometers once you pass that you're an astronaut but on international standards it's a hundred so it's really a dispute and uh, I would I would be uh, doing uh, an essay about it uh, this week uh, papa tapusin ko lang muna siguro yung ano yung lipad ng ano ng blue origin and then I'll release a video about it so for the meantime I can recommend Tim Dodd the everyday astronaut he he gave a deep dive on that topic uh, basically it's unit uh, it's uh, spaceship two versus uh, New Shepard so yun yun. but uh, I'll link it on the description below and uh, siguro ang ma- masasabi ko lang mga kababayan only time will tell kung sino ang kung si- kung anong int- and kung anong standards ang um, gagamitin talaga para masabi na magi na astronaut ka na so for now let's just celebrate that Richard Branson has uh, fulfilled his childhood dream of going to space and uh, yun lang. <laughs> this should have been a big laang life uh, to be honest, mga kababayan. Kaya, kaya medyo mahaba to. But then again, it's fine. I I just wanted to get this uh, sorted out. So, uh, with all that said, this is Ian reminding you to keep your coffee sweet and your adobo salty. Maybe not on the national standards, but as long as it's delicious, it's good. And at all times, be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then... Look alive, stay alive, thank you for watching, and see you next time. Be enough.